everyone, happy Saturday. I love slow Saturdays. Had a great morning, did my skincare. I'm enjoying my latte. This vlog is gonna be a New Year's slash January reset. I wanted to do this at the start of the year. It's a couple weeks into January now. I have my planner and I printed out a year I have my work holiday schedule. So I'm gonna go through and mark all my dates. I'm a huge planner girl. I do use my iPhone calendar, but I need to physically write everything down. I always get my planners from Home Goods or Marshalls because they're super cheap. This one was $8. I love this shade of pink. 2024 and the most important thing is the layout for me i write a lot in my planner so i need a lot of space this has each day and then this side has notes and a to-do lots of space to write notes in the back i like to talk about my trips when they're closer no trips planned for january but i do have a church retreat next friday which i'm super excited for we have a snow trip planned in march which I'm really excited. We haven't been to Tahoe in, I think it's been over five years. And I really wanna go snowboarding. That's a little later, but that'll be a really fun vlog. I'm gonna take some time and put in all the dates that I already know and try to figure out potential trips. We're due for a BLE trip this year. We talked about visiting not in New York, so need to figure out when we can go there. My planner is up to date with everything I know so far. Now I'm gonna go into a time of reading my Bible. I'll see you guys when I finish my quiet time. I'm about to go on my walk. I really love going on walks. Feels great physically to just move your body after sitting all day. Even more than the physical benefits, I feel so good mentally when I walk. Just to clear my mind, I take my headphones and listen to my favorite podcast. <laughs> today the past few days by the time i got off work it's been pitch black when i walk but it's so much better when you can see the scenery and the sunset hi everyone we're at house of pine room for dinner we reserved this two months ago this place books out very far in advance resolutions was to wake up earlier and have a good morning routine before work i just threw on this comfortable hoodie and i want to go downstairs and start my quiet time you can probably hear my voice it's super rough it's always like this when i just wake up let's go downstairs I want to say almost 10 years I've been doing a Bible in one year plan start to finish Genesis to Revelation just reading five chapters a day but I've been wanting to do a deeper dive where I just focus in on one chapter a day and really go deep into each verse and read commentary I'm kind of doing a random plan this year I started with James because as I was reading this toward the end of last year it was so good I read super slow verse by verse and then I'll write down takeaways and application and then a prayer and then at the end I'll go through the enduring word commentary take this other side to read the bible today if you have not i 
finished reading James 4. As I get older, everything in this Bible, everything from God just makes so much more sense. Everything God says is not to restrict us or harm us in any way. It's truly to protect us. It's for our well-being. And this faith, Christianity, just answers every question of life. Why we're here? What's our purpose? Why we have the problems we have? How do we fix it? How do we address it? There's nothing else, no other wisdom that will be able to answer those questions for you or fulfill the desires that you have in your heart. One eye-opening point that I got from my reading in the commentary, living life for the desire for pleasure is an unsatisfied life. We're tempted to fulfill a sinful desire because we think or hope that it may be satisfied, but it'll never be. I think this points to exactly why so many people that have everything you could ever want, wealth, power, fame, are never happy because those things are not enough. You can have all those things and still feel purposeless, feel worthless. But if you have this, if you have the gospel, if you have Jesus in your life, you have peace, you have joy, you have meaning, you have an understanding that non-believers do not have. I'm just blown away at how you can read scripture and God just opens your eyes. Another goal of mine is to just talk about my faith more. With my family, with my sister, and with certain friends, faith is at least 50% of the conversations we have. But with other people, it's 10%, 5%, or not even there. That's really not okay so i'm gonna be changing that this year i'm gonna link the commentary that i use today i really really recommend that you sit read through james and go through the commentary read it james is a great book to start the year it's only five chapters very applicable it is cold my mom went to go drop off one of our cars for maintenance so i'm going to pick up my mom We got our bagels. I need to start waking up at this time every day because I have a full morning before starting work. I'm gonna drive back now. I just had breakfast and I'm getting started with work. I've shown this before, but this is my setup. I have an amazing standing desk. I'll usually work standing for the first couple hours and I just rotate, sit whenever I get tired. Just move it like that. The dual monitors are essential. And I pretty much rely on this. I can't get anything done if I don't have a planner to write all my to-dos. I didn't have this planner the first week of January, so I was just using scratch paper and it was really rough. I'm gonna do my skincare now. I keep my morning skincare really simple. I start by using this mist. When I work from home, I usually won't put on any makeup. I do have plans later today, so might as well just get ready right now. One thing I always do with my skincare is wait a couple of minutes in between each step just to let the products soak into my face. While I let the essence sit, I just use a lip balm. I'm using the Say Sun Glow to give my face a little bit of a bronze. I'll probably make a drink later, maybe an iced matcha, to show you my new and improved recipe. I'll see you guys in a little. It's 2.54, I'm, it's 2.54, I'm taking- It's 2.55 now. <laughs> 256. I've had a pretty chill work day, which is always nice. I'm gonna make a hot matcha latte right now. Lynn got me this matcha whisk for Christmas. What makes it extra good is using vanilla. I ordered this syrup from Amazon. Comes with this giant pump, so it's really convenient. Estimate no exact measurements. And hot water. They say not in circles, but back and forth. Until it gets very frothed. See, it's already starting to froth up. I'm gonna steam the milk with a little bit of vanilla using our coffee machine. I can't stop talking about the machine, you guys. It's the best. We use it every day, and since buying it, I don't think I've bought coffee out. Usually I buy coffee a lot. Just using Oatly. I know oat milk is not that good for you, so maybe this needs to be out in 2024, but it's so good. And then to clean this, you just put it in, then you clean milk. And it'll clean it for you. Cheers. Okay. Mm, this is really good. I have about two more hours of work, and then we're all going to drive to one of our friend's house, and he's going to drive us down to our other friend who has a minivan, and Nat's going to drive us all to San Jose. See you guys in a couple hours. 
It's 520. I wrapped up work and just changed for our hanging out. I Dyson air wrapped my hair. I'm practicing and trying to get as good as my mom. These curls usually don't hold very long, so I need to get some sort of hairspray. Touched up on my makeup a little bit. I'm becoming a big Tatcha brand fan. And then we'll do a little bit of lip liner, peptide lip tint. Okay, I think I am ready to go. This has been my go-to bag. I've carried it everywhere. I'll link it if they still have it at Urban. They also have a bigger size if you want to carry more stuff. We're going to grab Korean food and then go do our escape room. Do you remember what the theme is, Lynn? Asylum? Oh yeah, it's like an asylum. So it's supposed to be really scary. I don't think I said this, but we're hanging out with SKLK. I don't know that I've ever said the background of our group, but we used to all go to the same church. It's four sibling trios. The Sons, the Kings, the Lees us in the post we all went on a mission trip and then after we got really close back in 2019 we'd hang out almost every single day oh my gosh five years five years since we met which is crazy we don't see each other nearly as much everyone's just in different places and busy so when we can get together it's really fun not everyone's here but i think we have seven out of 12 which is pretty good see you guys when we meet up with everyone we split up for dinner what did you guys eat i ate five guys lynn and i got mediterranean food <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's actually like raining a lot. Oh, wait! Guys, we're getting soaked. Oh my gosh. You're funny. We made it to the escape room. That was a fiance. It's so scary. I'm actually terrified. I'm so scared. Oh, it's light. Too easy. Yay. That was so easy. How much time do you spend? 18 minutes Not left. Not scary. 18 minutes to spare. We're, We're very so smart. We're basically fox though. Yeah. <laughs> we spend the most time on the first one. No, that's how much time they have. Yeah, how much time they have. No, no, no. That's how much time they escape. If you divide them by backwards, then we escape. It was not as scary. Not scary. We say this, but we were like, guys, screaming. He's breaking everything. <laughs> that was low-key too easy, like they should make it harder. We're at Boba now. I can't believe we're all reunited. It's been too long. Far too long. What are you listening to? Four six. Oh. Nice. Wait. How do we know? How do we know that? Yarn with a seven? I'm going into the city tomorrow, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But right now, I'm gonna pack up my bag for work. I always like to do this the night before. I have an early meeting, so I'm gonna leave the house at 6.30. This is my work bag. My mom gave it to me. It used to be hers. It's from Coach, and it's the perfect office bag. Planner, mouse pad, and mouse. I'm gonna carry a charger cable, hand sanitizer, my badge. I have so many pens in here. Just need one. Pen, highlighter, so many lip products. My road lip treatment. Dior lip glow, Dior lip oil, my laptop. That is what I take to work. A good tip I've been putting into practice is always think of your future self. If there's little tasks you can do now that your future self would appreciate and thank you for, always better to just do it. Simple things, picking out your outfits, packing your bag, just so it's one less thing to worry about in the morning. I'm gonna shower now and do my skincare and we're starting a new K-drama as a family. During quarantine, we went through six or seven different K-dramas together and it was so fun. So Tim found a new one that he wanted us to all watch together. Good night, guys. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for work. 6.30 a.m. Thank you.
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, wake up on. <laughs> they <laughs> who decided to do that? Uh, right? Who do you think? I was trying to scare mom in the morning. <laughs> so it's been there all Wait, you actually yeah. thought that was uncle? Yeah. <laughs> did you think it was? <laughs> no, they told me it was you, but I was like, I just ran into him upstairs. We're like, we're like, can you go wake up Tim? She goes, That's not Tim, I just saw him upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it looks real. <laughs> Okay. It actually looks like someone. It yeah. does. Mom is making the most delicious pasta salad. It's good for you, has a ton of veggies. Pasta noodles, bell peppers, onions, cucumber, olives, cherry tomatoes, and cheese. Basically just prep everything, toss it together. A really good healthy recipe for the new year. Can you say hi? Eden is here and we're eating some of the pasta salad. Mmm. Mm. Guys, this is so good. Ah. This is olive, Eden. Hi. Whose are those, Eden? Africa. Whoa, those are too big for you. Eden, who made this? Lolo. <laughs> Not Lolo, Emo. Emo made this. I wanted to try a new form of working out this year. I booked a Pilates class for me. I've only done two reformer Pilates classes and they've both been intro. I canceled my other gym membership because I really want to find a workout that I enjoy. Olive. Olive, you're so smart. Look, you teach her something once and she already knows it. <laughs> okay, show them. What does someone say? Ow. Ow. I'm excited to try this new studio and see how I like it. I'll update you guys after the class. I'm not even joking, I think that was the hardest workout class I've ever taken in my life. Like I said earlier, I've done a few reformer Pilates class, but none of them were like this one. I actually think my cardio cycling classes are easier than what I just did. Every little movement burned. I think I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow, but I actually really enjoyed it. I bought two classes. The welcome deal is $30 for two classes, which is really good because Pilates is normally closer to $30 to $35 per class. This one's a little far from my house, it took about 24 minutes to get here. Here. So I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this studio, but that was such a good workout Hi guys, we are at Audrey Avery's new home. This is my first time seeing it. So they gave me the tour. It's really nice They're Seti and Ramby <laughs> She's loving it oh my how do you guys like the new place? It's really nice. Can you give them the tour? Oh, so when you enter there is a little Setup room, I'm sorry it is very messy right now. Double oven, which is really nice. This is the kitchen. Here is the living room. Okay, so when you walk in, there is a mess. This is my room. A nice bathroom. That was the full house tour. Bye guys. Do you want to bonk? Bonk. 